Justify your faith for me Does it give you what you need? Every time, every place, every moment of grace I'm cynical I rise to the pinnacle Hi, this is Josh Gabriel. And I'm Dave Dresden. We're Gabriel and Dresden, and you're watching ProfessionalRockStars.com. Professional Rockstars. In Amsterdam. <laughs> Hey, what's up? It's Teddy, professional rock stars. I am in Amsterdam, and we are in Gabrielle and Dresden's studio. They happen to be here recording. Got in touch with them. They were cool enough to let us come to that pad and, and show you guys what it's like to, uh, to make remixes from just bringing your computer in to making beautiful salads. So, <laughs> what's up, guys? How you doing? How you doing? So let, let's should we talk about the salad first since we have the bowl in the hand I'm already? I'm gonna let Dave do that. All right, Dave's gonna Dave's gonna tell us about their salad. Tell us about our salad. Well, see, this um, this stuff plays a, a good hand in making music, um, and I happen to like to listen to music and make music while under the influence of this. And so the other day, I while we were working on a track, I decided to go out and buy about five or ten different varieties of pot that you can buy legally here in the coffee shops. And I ground it all together, mixed it up, and then took some uh, hash, put that in there, and now we have the 10 variety salad. Do we know, is it just the top of the menu that you got from? No, there's, uh, there's some, there's Jamaican, <laughs> Jamaican like uh, Thai stick stuff, and um, Northern Lights, uh, White Widow, uh, a couple of hazes, uh -huh. purple haze. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, it's the power salad. Yes, it is the power salad. <laughs> it definitely makes the, the, the bright light here brighter. Okay. And so. did, how long did it take for you to break all of that up? About an hour. While we were working the other day. All right, all right, all right. And has it been helping? Uh, definitely. Okay. Let's talk about, let's talk about what you guys are working on now. Uh, well, you guys are covering a track? We're actually, we're in Amsterdam. We're, we're touring in Europe for our album. And so we decided that while we're here, since you know technology nowadays, all you need is a little laptop and a screen and some speakers, and you can make music. So that's basically what we what actually. We're, this is this is quite luxurious for t for traveling. But since we're planted here for a while, yeah. uh, we figured we'd have speakers. Then when up. when did you get to Amsterdam? June? At the beginning of June. Yeah. Mm -hmm. June. So we this is a, a remix for Robbie Rivera that we're working on. Program is this? It's called Logic. Logic. How many tracks are you taking up right now? Like 30. 30. Wow. <laughs> How long does it normally take to to do a remix? And we'll talk about it. Oh, I don't know, like five or six days, full full blown 12 hour days. But we've uh, 12 hour days. This, yeah. this track wow. has actually been made completely on the fly, uh, on the road. Yeah, a little bit here, a little bit there. We started it in Brazil. Uh huh. And then uh, we in worked. In the airport or just no in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a hotel room. Okay and then in a fan's house and then because he had speakers uh -huh. and then uh, we went back to San Francisco worked on it a couple of days and then we came out here and we've worked on it here and there because we, we've been a lot doing a lot of touring and uh, so we really haven't had time to make music because we're really supporting our album this time right. with a, tell us the name of the album it's just Gabriel and Dresden the debut okay. yeah it, and you have how many tracks are on it there's 11 full tracks and, and an interlude. <laughs> and instruments, everything that got played. Yeah, it's like there's eight vocal tracks. There's two vocalists, Molly Bancroft and Jan Burton. Mm -hmm. And yeah, there's a lot of synths, a lot of uh, live instruments. There's electric bass, electric guitar, acoustic guitar. I mean, all sorts of things. Now, uh, what about live drums? No live drums? Um, we haven't recorded we live didn't record, drums. We didn't record live drums. But we do it. use sounds that have come from live recordings. Right. And where did you record? Uh, Made everything record? in our garage. In San Francisco. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. How long did that take? A year. A year. <laughs> and that's in between touring and everything. No, else? That, that that was a year. We we actually stopped we doing remixes and we did only the only the minimal touring. Okay. Yeah, two weekends a month. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah. So that we could work the whole time. So it took a year of solid work. 
And what record label? Our Yours. Own. Our own. That's uh, organized, uh, organized nature. nature. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You've done a lot of remixes, um, and you've had a lot of Billboard hits. So, um, tell us who some of the remixes you've done, and and what what. Let's tell us some of the remixes you've done, and I'll ask the question after that. All right. Uh, Annie Lennox, Jewel. Britney Spears. Uh, <laughs> Dave Gahan, Paulo Confold, Tiesto. Depeche uh, Mode. Um, uh, Sarah pretty. McLaughlin. Dido. Dido. Now, what do you feel contributed to being able to have that kind of roster? I think you do one remix, and if it's successful for the people that you know, hired you, they, it sort of leads to more. Mm -hmm. And so it just, our sound happened to fit with the artists that people were looking to get remixed. And have any of the artists we're just lucky. <laughs> contacted you personally, or uh, was it always A couple the of the artists have contacted us personally after the fact to say they like the remix, but the artists are never dealing with You're us. usually dealing with yeah, the A&R yeah, people from the record labels. Right. And sometimes they then submit them to the artists and the artists have comments. Like, Is it usually the A&R person's idea to... Yeah, yeah to usually. But um, we, we, we really haven't done a lot uh, of remixes in the last few years because we've been doing the album sure. and trying to get our, our thing in order. And uh, remixes are, you know, they, they give a lot of ideas away for free. Or, you know, you know, you get a set amount of money for a remix and that's, you're basically writing a whole song around somebody's vocal. And uh, we just figured we wanted to do it on our own and write our own songs. And when you did the uh, soundtrack for Brokeback uh, Mountain, did they give you a film sample, or did they no, just they say... they give us audio files okay. from, the, the, from the song. The individual instruments. Yeah. Oh, so you never got to see it. Did they send you a free copy of the movie? No. No. Not then. We still haven't seen the movie. <laughs> oh, yeah? No. It's not bad. But the, those, those parts were great to listen to, just on their own. Well, 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 they just... It was like, you know, slide guitar. A, a string, slide guitar, and... Uh, um, an electric bass. Okay. Uh, it's Teddy. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I'm Dave D. Dave D. <laughs> and I'm known as Joshy e. G. Joshy e. G. <laughs> <laughs> Gabriel and Dresden, hanging out in Amsterdam. We're out of here. <laughs> 2006. Word. <laughs>